you can't see it right now, but it's the beautiful Tennessee state flag. It's not, it's beautiful. It's not blowing in the wind. There it goes. Oh, there we go. Uh, oh well, we tried to get that shot. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? Today we are here at the Red Clay State Park here in Tennessee and we're gonna show you the area, show you what you can do here. There's picnic areas, there's old cabins here, there's a watering hole. So come on, join us. All right, we are at the Red Clay State Park here today. And we're gonna go down the path. There's some old cabins some really cool things to look at just going to show you guys what is in this area i know we said we're done with the nature vlogs for a little while but i completely forgot about this such a cool area hey they have a donation box right here we can give back nope Scan that QR code right there to check out how much you can donate. There's this right here showing you the map of the area. You are here. Coming up to the first picnic area here, you can see it way back there. We're not going to walk over there because Wren will, you know, he leads the path. By the way, did I mention we have Wren with us today? I know you guys haven't seen Ray in a while, but Ray has been crazy as of late. Yes. And she is being disciplined by being home by herself, <laughs> which means she could bust out of the kennel and eat up the couch, but we don't know. We're just living life. <laughs> <laughs> doing what we can all right we're gonna head off in this area here see what we can find yep see what is down here I thought you were stopping off to look at this trash can, trash can. No, <laughs> it's no. like there's no plaque here babe there's no history there Ren's currently in training. <laughs> we should have been training him all along, but you know, we travel a lot. We have a lot of traveling coming up soon. And uh, when we're home, we try to teach him as much as possible, but here soon, they're gonna be with us a lot. So we're gonna start taking them on the road with us more and just keeping them and uh, just trying to find areas that allow dogs for us to have with us. He is panting. He does not like all this walking. He should though. But he enjoys his naps. So peaceful out here. Coming up on a cabin here. This is a replica cabin, but you get the idea.
What? Yeah. It's really cool. Take a look inside here. That's what it looked like back in the day. As Angie said, it reminds her of Little House on the Prairie. It really does. I mean, it really does remind me of that. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. That's pretty cool. Thing is, could you rough it? Could you do that? <laughs> Angie says no. She could not. Not without air. Especially after having the conveniences that we have today. Yeah. Um, you know, which we've talked about roughing it. With air conditioning. Might be in the future for us. Glamping. Glamping. You know we never tell you guys what our next video is going to be about. We like to keep it a mystery, but uh, yeah, we might might be glamping very soon. Because we are going to be traveling a lot. Back around the house, looks like there's a barn and a little chicken coop back here. These flowers are beautiful right here. A little bumblebee. Just chilling out. I'll leave him to his business. There's a sign posted out here, no climbing on the barn. Please don't, because you see, technically, if you wanted to, you could, because of how the wood is split apart. Oh, that's really cool. Angie was pointing this out, this feeding trough. It could also be to help bring in the water. Oh, okay. Oh, goodness, buddy. Somebody's got the sneezes over there. Really cool area here. I've lived in this area my whole life and never been here. So, but it's neat just to see the way things were built back then. I'm not going to be the first, well, I guess I'll be the first to admit that I am bougie. <laughs> and if you transported me to this today, I would be very, unhappy. very unhappy. <laughs> <laughs> but at the same time, like, you know, I'm, I like to camp and stuff like that. And uh, it would be fun for a little while, then I think I would get tired of it. Looks like a little area here where they would have gathered, sat around, maybe had a little church service or something, and... sing old songs or something like that maybe <laughs> I don't know but it just reminds me of something about Red Dead Redemption <laughs> I turned around and saw this is the other side of the cabin that is awesome looking it almost has like it could just be the way that the Sun is hitting it almost has like a greenish tint to it yeah. you may not be able to see it on camera but it looks really cool it's beautiful out here Show off the chicken coop. Babe, is that what this would have been? Maybe. Or a shed. Or a shed of some kind. This is really where my bouginess comes out because I don't know. <laughs> but it is cool. Look in there and see. 
maybe it would have been a bougie outhouse back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's not, but how awesome would that have been to have an outhouse that was this big? There would be no reason. Yes, when you're bougie. They didn't have bougie people back then. You weirdo. The king, he was bougie. He had to have been. You can see this conversation is not going anywhere. She's not joining in. This is a very George Costanza, <laughs> uh, Susan moment where she says, can we change the subject, please? Yes. <laughs> Continuing on the path here, we can see there are some more structures right up here. We're going to check those out. more picnicking areas over here there's a path to the water right through there that you can go we're not gonna go to there today but you can do it There's something crawling up in these trees. We can make our own horror film out here. The squirrel that attacked. Here are more smaller cabins here. This is called a visitor's account. Nature trails here. Uh, it's about to end right up here. It's called what? This one here? Sleeping huts. So this is what this would have been. I guess uh, people would have came in here and slept. Visitors. Okay, so visitors would... Okay, that makes sense. It's kind of cool. Ooh, there's a park ranger over there. Better not act up, Angie. <laughs> this looks like where they. This looks like where they would have kept or done their little council meetings. Here, there's a sign on the side that says "interpretive use only." That's really cool. Just think about that. How they did things way back in the day. You can see there's like a little amphitheater off here to the side. That's where they would have held maybe church services or little concerts, little dances back in the day. That's cool. And look at this tree right here. This tree almost looks like a cross. It's pretty cool. I like that. You hot, buddy? No, he's losing it. <laughs> See? Oh, he it. sees another dog. See, he, he gets that. you. He'd be a good boy. We catch that on video of him losing his mind. <laughs> losing his marbles. And that's going to bring our adventure to an end here today. It's really cool. A lot of fun to hang out here at the Red Clay State Park. So with that being said, make sure you subscribe, hit that like button and the notification bell so you know when our next video is coming out. And remember, the road goes ever on. See you next time.